Hey folks, this is not gonna be the usual gameplay video because I want to give you an update on how I'm performing with the 50 million grind and uh, it's a heavy topic because I want to stretch into how to make coin, what to do, what not to do. So let me start with the facts. It's, it's absolutely not going well. I started the season with approximately a total of seven. 15 million storage value and now you can see it's 12.6 million i'm jumping up and down to 15 million sometimes i'm even lower but it's not really moving that's what i'm trying to say it's not really moving and if i check my battle stats um let me hide my face cam for a second you can see that total earned this season is 14 million okay so it means that I did a decent amount of money already in this season. On the other hand, I have a really bad extraction rate, 27%. The interesting thing about this stat is that from a rank point of view, like my rank um, you know, performance is, um, is actually really good. So I'm not legend yet, but if I continue like this, I'm going to reach legend. And I just wanted to share some facts in advance, but this is not going to be the main topic of the video. I want to talk about why I think uh, people are being kept poor, um, why my extraction rate is that low, um, you know, how is it connected to PvP, and ultimately how to make money in the game. So um, I did this um, community post yesterday or the day before, um, let me just jump over here and show it to you guys. So this one, the 50 million grind um, update, uh, in which I'm explaining that I'm not actually moving anywhere, although I feel I perform well. So I'm not saying that I'm one of the best players in Arena Breakout. I never was, and I think I never will be, but uh, I would expect with this like skill to be able to make some money, but I just simply can't. And um, I want to grab the chance and thank you all for, you know, all the lovely comments. I've been getting so much feedback. Um, I saw some really, really long comments actually going into the details on what to do, how to do it to make money in the game. And I want to break this down for you guys, okay? I want to I wanna go into the detail. Um, and hopefully it's not going to be like a super long video. I don't want this to be like a 30 minutes video, but I want to go into the detail to explain what works in Arena Breakout and what doesn't work. And some of you may say that this is really straightforward, but I think it's not. I think it's not, but may maybe it's straightforward for like 30% of the players, but 70% still don't really understand why they cannot make money in the game. But before I jump to that, uh, the topic I want to cover is why is the Arena Breakout team keeping people on a low storage value? I think it's actually like some kind of psychological thing um, because it's similar in real life. If it would be too easy to make money, like tons of money, and everybody would have you know, high-end mobile phones, then it, was, it would lose the value of it. What I'm trying to explain is that the harder it is to build your storage value, the more value are you going to attach to that. Like, like personally, you're going to say that I worked so hard for this freaking 10 million or 5 million or 50 million that you are going to establish some kind of bond with the game and, uh, you know, it's just, if you get something too easily, then there is a risk that you can get bored. Okay. If everybody would have like 150 million storage value and everybody would be running T6 and everybody would be doing H4 and all kinds of stuff, then there might be a risk that it's getting boring for the people. And good proof is that it's actually getting boring for the people who are really good at the game, like Yusef. I'm always referring to Yusef, but there are many, many more um, good players. And for them, it's boring because it's not challenging anymore and there's nothing they can do, um, you know, to, to, 
you know, set themselves a goal or a challenge. And yeah, for the majority of players, it's actually not easy to um, grind money. And I think majority of the players are below 10 million storage value. Um, why is my extraction rate that low and why I'm unable to, um, to get closer to my 50 million storage value? So the thing is that I like playing the game. I like dressing up at least into T4 with a semi-decent gun. And when I say semi-decent gun, look at my favorite builds. Uh, hopefully it loads at one point. These are my favorite builds. I think the cheapest gun here might be the AK-74N, uh, the, the Shark, the Mini-14, but everything else I have here, RPK, AN-94, AKM, M4, these are all like 70,000 up to 90,000. These are the guns I prefer playing. And uh, my default loadout is like T4, Armored Rig, T4 Helmet, T4 Ammunition. Sometimes I play T5, sometimes I play T5 uh, Bullets, which results in approximately 250,000 loadouts. If I do that, then basically, as I said in multiple of my videos, I'm risking, I'm risking a lot actually, because if I keep risking 250,000, then with a 33% extraction rate, I would need to have one raid where I extract with approximately 750,000, and then I die in the next one, and then in the next one again, which brings me back to zero, right? If you always calculate with 250,000. And that's the case for me. That, that's what I'm actually doing. So majority of the videos I'm publishing or I'm, I'm, I'm about to publish are games where I extract with like that amount of money. I'm just quickly checking. I can actually put it on screen. There you go. Not sure if you see it, but upcoming video videos, 477, 369, 241, one TVS, which is 900,000, again, 880,000, another from Armory, 855,000. The loadout I play is just too expensive compared to my extraction rate. And you're going to ask me, or you, you might be saying that, okay, Shady, this is because you're having skill issues. I mean, I don't think I have skill issues. I think there is tons of space for me to improve in the game, especially when it comes to pushing enemies, nading, peeking, movement in general, also game awareness. Sometimes I get shot and I, you know, from an angle I wasn't expecting. But generally speaking, my, um, my, my, my aim, um, I would say it's above average. But still, you know, I, I'm, I cannot be good enough to vibe full lobbies. And th that's, that's the problem. This is why I'm not making money. In most of the cases, I go to TV station, I have one kill, two kills. Usually the average for me is two to three kills per game. Okay, but it doesn't actually matter if I die. <laughs> and, and as you can see, out of 10 games, I die seven times, which means that I'm not making profit. But this is the way I enjoy playing the game. Okay, this is very important because because basically I'm hindering myself with this play style to make money. And I'm aware of this, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. I'm aware that I'm not good enough to vibe the lobbies, but at the same time, I don't want to do what needs to be done to build a storage value. What can you do to avoid being shady and uh, get stuck on 15 million? What you can do is to play differently than I am playing. I'm gonna give you a couple of examples. Um, Semivan, for example, he has a huge storage value because he's not playing as I play the game. He is often hiding, camping. I'm not saying that he's ratting. 
he is very tactical. He's playing rally. He is choosing the fights. He is he is on top. He has good skills, so he can aim. He is precise, uh, and therefore he can make tons of money. He's also doing solo, so he doesn't need to split the loot. He doesn't need to rely on others. But that type of gameplay for me is very boring. Okay, it doesn't mean that it's bad. Same applies to snipers on Northridge. I'm sure there are snipers out there who which make or who make like tons of money. But I'm not that sniper type of guy. For me, it's boring to um, climb up on a, on a rock and then sit there for 25 minutes. And it's not even... Like, even if I would do that, and if I do the kill, I wouldn't feel that, you know, that, that inner satisfaction that I completed something or I did something good in the game. Gameplay videos you see on YouTube. What's the problem with that? Majority of the gameplays you see are from players who fall into the top 1% um, of all the players. And that's the reason why they can wipe lobbies. It seems to be simple, and I'm sure they also die. They cannot perform it like in every single game, but, um, but they can do it. They can do it often enough to build the storage value. I, I hope it makes sense. But this is what you see. But it doesn't mean that this is how what you can do in the game as well. You you will you will not be able to do that. Like most of you are not not gonna be able to do that. I just wanted to like quickly mention that that YouTube and the videos and the gameplay videos can be a bit misleading because obviously everybody wants to upload the games that were successful. So now you're gonna say, okay, Shady. So what's the point of the video? How 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 to make money? And I think I kind of already covered it but I'm going to give you some very specific tips. You can do normal um, farm, normal port, or any normal map, uh, dress up like a Timmy, 30k loadout or even less, and um, slowly, you know, grinding. Extract with 100,000, 150,000, if you're lucky with 300,000. And you just keep doing that over and over again. You can do it on mine as well, because it's a huge map. If you have the time and the patience, then you just run around on the map and you just loot. Sometimes you might find you know, a, a good enemy or two, maybe someone who is dressing up into T5 or even T6 in normal mode, um, and then you can start grinding. So there is no risk actually, because even if you lose these games, you have nothing to lose. You are using trash loadout, shitty guns, um, and not risking anything. If you are enjoying that type of gameplay, then do it. That's one way of, uh, of playing the game or building a storage value. The second one would be to play on the market, um, buy stuff, sell it uh, from Deek, or eventually buy something cheap from the market and then remove the ops marker and then sell it again on the market. Again, for me, yeah, I appreciate the feedback of, you know, of recommending to do that. But for me, it's boring. For me, playing the game it's like entering the game and uh, facing other players, do some kills, and on top or besides that, loot some, you know, loot some drawers, some safes. By the way, safes. I think they have been nerfed. I'm not sure if it, if I should say drastically, but they have definitely been nerfed since uh, the previous season or the previous seasons because. In this season, in season six, I've been opening at least 100 saves, but I'm, I think I'm underestimating it. Maybe somewhere around 150 and 200 saves on TV station. And in total, I found four red items. Okay. But anyways, uh, back to how to make money. So my primary recommendation is to adjust your play style. And if you are playing in a passive way, you can rat, you can camp, you can play it slow, you can wait until all the fights happen and then strike at the end. If you are enjoying that, then that's, that's what you should be doing. I covered normal. On normal, you can play in a more casual way. But if you're playing lockdown or forbidden zone, then this is the key to success. 
play it slow, don't rush, don't push, and don't bring high-end loadouts, which is, which is a bit weird. It's a bit contradictory because for me, I enjoy the game if I have at least T4 or T5 and a good gun, but it's not sustainable. I know that it's not sustainable because I cannot win all of the fights. I cannot wipe the full lobby. It can happen that I have three kills, four kills, even five kills, but usually I'm not having eight or 10 kills per game. It's not likely to happen, okay? And because of that, I just, I'm just forced to play AK-74N, I'm forced to play T4. And even with that, I cannot make money. Recently, the best games I played was with BM-59. I had a nice game with SKS on TV station where I picked up some, I don't know, juicy MPX. I had multiple kills, but at the end I, I died anyways to a guy with a, with a basic vector because I ran out of ammunition and my timing of the push was bad. So that's, that's the advice. I appreciate all of the creators doing like top five guns uh, and all kinds of guides. But uh, I think what I was talking about, we all know about it, but it's not like transparently discussed. The game is forcing us to play cheap loadouts. The game is forcing us to rat and camp and to play it slow. And I get it. You're going to say, some of you are going to say that that's the whole idea of the game, to be tactical. But there is a difference between being tactical. You can be tactical in setting up uh, a push or an attack. That's also tactical, like how you are using your nades, how you are positioning, how you are flanking the enemy. That's all tactical. But I think when you say tactical, you uh, are referring to like hiding somewhere and then waiting for the right moment to do one kill and then extract with, I don't know, 500,000. So I'm going to keep trying the grind, I'm going to keep trying to reach 50 million on my own, mainly solo. I mean, sometimes playing with, with Raga and my son and team, but I don't want to be carried. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't want to team up with, uh, with chats who are going to carry me and I'm the guy like, you know, picking up the leftovers. I don't want to do that. I'm going to keep doing the grind. I think I can reach it. I still think I can reach it but I will never switch my game style into something that is simply boring for me. And I hope I didn't disencourage you or such. I'm just like spitting the facts. This is what it is. And it's not going to change. The only way it could change if Arena Breakout team um, changes the loot, because if we had more loot, then players would play better guns, better equipment, and there would be less... We would be less forced into camping and ratting. And uh, well, yeah, I think that's the only that's the only thing I can think of of how the economy of uh, of the game would change. If that doesn't happen, then good luck uh, building a storage value if you are a player who likes pushing and likes PvP. The other, the other solution would be that you keep playing the game, you put in hundreds or thousands of hours and you just simply get better at the game, better at pushing, better at like controlling the game. But uh, it takes time. At least for me, it takes time. I mean, I'm getting old compared to many of you. I'm getting old. I can still feel that I'm slightly improving, but it's slower compared to many. My son, you know, learned FPS games within two or three years, and he's just 10. So if he continues, he's going to be much, 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 much better than I am. But at the end of the day, it's all going to come back to the game style. So if you are pushing, if you don't have the patience, then you're going to die. You're going to die more often compared to the guys who have that level of patience, who can just sit there. And by the way, 
like it just popped in my mind that on TV station lockdown, I had a game yesterday where again, I did like two or three keys. I started picking up stuff and guess what? A team of two or maybe three people were sneaking up on me, like sneaking, <laughs> crouching and sneaking with alien helmets, T6 helmets, 150k RPK. They, it's, it's incredible for me. So if they have the money to do that, I mean, to play that loadout, then they should be rushing. Flashlight, come on, pushing and destroying the enemies. But why do we have so many, you know, T6 players sneaking on TV station? We have that because they are also in the same boat. If they die, they lose it. And there is no way that they can make enough money to make it sustainable to play in T6 every single game. So again, I hope I didn't disencourage you. Wish me good luck. I'm going to stay on the grind. I'm going to keep doing my stuff. I'm going to keep posting like mainly the, the, the good games. But maybe I'm going to do again, uh, you know, a, a video where I present the 10 games where I died and then you can learn from it. But I just wanted to share it with you. I just wanted to share what I think. And then now you can start the discussion in the comment section. As always, shoot loot, subscribe, shady out. Bye.